What is going on, my Super Sandwiches? Romster here, and it's finally happened. It actually happened literally after I got done recording my video. Well, like two hours passed, and again, the time that me sitting down to record this was days ago. So by the time you watch this, I had time to sit down and rest to kind of get the Dokkan out of my system. And uh, overall, the mission has been officially a success. Ladies and gentlemen, literally 20 minutes ago, I pulled Janimba. Took a lot of multi summons. I think I had to do an extra, let's see, after I did that video and I completely gave up and I was done, uh, my homie Omega was live streaming and I watched the pull Janimba after doing a couple multi summons. I'm like, you know what? Let me do a couple more. So I did a couple more and there he was in a multi summon just sitting there taunting me with that stupid smirk on his face. And now we're going to do what we always do. Now, if you're new to my channel, what I'm referring to, of course, is the final fight as well as the awakening. I mean, technically I could just awaken him and call it a day, but you know, I like to. Make it a little more flashy. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is jump into this final fight against Janimba. Uh, I have Janimba on my team. I'm not gonna really use him. I'm just kind of bringing him with me now because I feel like after everything I went through to try to pull him, I might as well actually use him now. And look at that! I just got 40 stamina. Look, good timing. So we're gonna go ahead and fight this man one last time. Hopefully we got a Gogeta that we can use. We got one up there. Let's see if we got a maxed out one. There's one maxed out. And we're just gonna go run in. Destroy him real fast and then do the awakening. So, uh, my team, I got Gold Emperor Frieza. Finally! It feels so good being able to say that because to those who have been watching my Dokkan videos for a while now, you know how badly I've been hunting that freaking Frieza right there because he's awesome at tanking hits. Uh, in case you don't know, he can reduce damage by 80%. He's, he's a great shield. Bring him as a shield. Now, I'm also going to be bringing this uh, Janimba with me only because he doesn't link, link with my team at all. The only reason why I'm bringing him is because, number one, I've been working to get him. And two, I can also use him to tank uh, hits if I need to. So, when it comes down to it, I have basically four body shields. Uh, the other two consist of Super Go Tanks and Frieza, who have the type advantage. And then, of course, I got both the Gogetas who are going to do the actual damage. So, without further ado, let's, let's jump this. into... The final fight against uh, the evil one known as Janimba. Janimba! Janimba! Okay, now if you're new to this fight, it's pretty easy. It's two rounds. You have uh, the tall version of Janimba, and then you got the super one. And all you have to do is literally do one super attack against the tall one, or the, the, the large one. And then uh, do a handful of super attacks. And I say handful loosely. A handful of super attacks against uh, the super version to take him out. It's a pretty easy fight. Now again, I asked this question a couple days ago, who is the easiest boss fight in this game? Feel free to share in the comment section below, but to me, again, I'm still sticking with Janimba. He's just a lot easier to deal with. He's not as annoying as the other bosses, because like, you know, Broly has his Rampage, Cell regenerates health, um, what else do we have? Uh, Boo has a stupid candy that gets in the way, and on top of that, he has three fights you have to go through with two. Uh, we also have, whatchamacallit, Frieza, who's just powerful th all, all throughout the fights you go against. There's a bunch of known bosses, but when it comes down to it, ironically, even though Janimba is one of the most powerful people in, or most powerful villains in Dragon Ball Z, he's pretty easy to go down. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into his last fight, do this awakening, and do the victory dance, because I finally did it. Now, the question is going to come up as well, Rhymestar, what do you do now? You pulled both of those cards that you really, really wanted, and to answer that question, I honestly don't know. Uh, here, let me show you about Janimba, or not Janimba, but Gogeta, so awesome. We're going to go ahead and take out... We're gonna do this. We're gonna. I mean, I won't need it, just in case, just in case. But I won't need it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use Gogeta to take him out, one shot him. But in case he does survive, I have Janimba who can take the hit. But yeah, the next question is gonna be: Is Robson? What do you do now? You pull the two cards you really wanted in uh, Dokkan Battle. Oh, he survived. What are you gonna do next? Well, to answer that question, uh, I'm just gonna play the game like I've been playing it. I'm never gonna go crazy for banners like I did. Look at that super tag. Let's see how much this does. Normally it does 50k. And 17,000, not bad. That's why you want him. Wow, he survived all of those. I'm surprised, actually. Now, normally in this game, let's finish him off with, with you. Come here. Can you swap? Yeah, there we go. Let's finish him off with you. Normally in this game, uh, I've done this twice now, where I went kind of crazy with the banners. I don't think I'm ever going to do that again, only because there's nothing in Japanese, the Japanese banner right now that I want really, really badly that I know I'll want to hunt for later. So what's going to happen from now on is, is every time... I, oh, wait a minute. That's actually... That's kind of stupid, but whatever. It finished them off. Um, uh, whatever banner comes out in the future, I'll just do like a summon or two in a week and call it a day. I'm never going to go crazy like I did for, for these guys just because I don't have to anymore. Oh my gosh, he is attacking a lot of times. You know what? We're going to go ahead and take that attack away, but tossing out a quick Ghost Usher. Be like, nah. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably shouldn't have brought Janimba to be a shield just because he has no links on my team at all. 
You know, one thing that bugs me about this game is that, uh, let's do this. One thing that bugs me about this game is the fact that the villains all have pretty bad links. And I know I'm not the only one who's ever noticed that. Villains only link pretty much with villains, and there's a lot of heroes. So, like, if you pick a hero, is that good? If you pick a hero, you have a whole team of, like, Saiyans and stuff. They all link with each other. You also get, you know, the, the damage boost, the key. But when it comes down to it, there's only so many villains, and the links aren't usually that great. So I kind of wish that they had better links with the villains and they kind of work on that in the future over Dokkan because it's, it kind of sucks. Like, it, you, it makes you not want to use the villains essentially. Like, I'm probably never going to use Janimba just because he doesn't link with anybody unless I have an all villains team. Alright, so here we go. What are we going to do? First things first, I have, I can only block with, um, what's it called? With you from looks of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do one of these and I'm hoping that this doesn't kill me. So I'm going to reduce this damage by 50,000 and I'm hoping that I can, can guess this right. I'm hoping I can guess this right. Uh, let's do this. And let's do this. See, this is a really bad setup for me. It's a really bad setup, actually, because he technically could still kill me. Let's see what happens. So he's good. I gotta make sure that I wanna guess it right, because I'm sure he's gonna do a super attack. And as long as I can take the hit with Frieza, I will survive it. Here we go, let's see what happens. Hit him one of these. Take him out. To one hit. Okay. Uh, I th Wait, does he have one more hit, or was that all of them? Did I survive them all? I survived them all. Great! Wow. Okay. Cool. So what we're gonna do now is, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're gonna heal first. Let's go ahead and just call my boy Dende. I mean, you Dende, you got me though. Uh, time out. Time out. Oh, uh, Gogeta. Let's see. So I could. You know what? Yeah, I will. I will use a Ghost Usher. I could technically set up so I do minimal damage here, but you know what? Since I have this opportunity, I'm going to take it. So let's do this. Let's toss out you. Well, actually, first of all, let's swap these guys out because they actually link. Look at that. Look at that. That's so beautiful. So in that case, let's toss you out over here. You have enough for a super attack if I do this. And then let's just do minimal stuff. So the greens and uh, the purple. Let's give you the blue. That should be three super attacks. It's going to get him down to almost no health, I think. Well, not almost no health. The la la last health bar, at least. So, most of the damage is going to be done by gold tanks because of the type advantage. And, of course, Gogeta just destroys everything he touches. So, yep, there we go. That's going to get us maybe halfway? I want to say halfway? Is it halfway? It is halfway. So, the next super attack is pretty much going to wipe him out. Now, the question is, is can I survive that? So, what I'm going to do here is, this might be kind of tricky. I'm going to use Yama just in case, just in case, because, I mean, he could technically still do a super attack and do a lot of damage. And we'll toss out, let's do you, and then let's just do these reds. And if for some reason, he's still alive. Our boy Frieza got this, but he's not going to survive. Gogeta is going to just basically destroy him. Look at that. No damage, 3,000. Nah, not for me. And that is going to be the fight. That is the fight. Look how easy that is. All right, easy victory. So now we got to do, uh, we get to enjoy the fruits of our labor. We have defeated him ten times. Look at that damage. We have defeated him ten times, and now we're gonna go ahead and use our metals to evolve our Janimba into the beast that he is. So that's how this works. Again, if you're new here, I like to do this all the time. Uh, every time I get a transcendent card, I like to do the boss fights like nine times, and then do the last one, and kind of evolve. So you guys can experience the road that it's taken to get to that point. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Look at that metal. Even though I already have like 10, I think, 10 or 11. Um, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So I can look look at that. Even before I have no money, it's like, oh, you don't have no money to do this. Let's do this, ready? I, uh, before I do that real fast, let me show you. Oops, that's gonna be the new one. Uh, that's the that's the new boost. So you have 80% now for int types. His attack and defense is gonna be 5,000 now instead of 3,000. And uh, that's going to be what he's about. Look at, look at that, look at that. And he actually gets more, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, he gets a couple more links. So let's go ahead and do that by awakening him right now. And ladies and gentlemen, Janimba, Super Janimba, has officially been awakened on my account now. Look at that. Oh my gosh, the journey, that's good. The journey, man. Hashtag, everybody who's made it this far in this video, hashtag the uh, Rhyme Style Gogeta Despair Arc. It's going to be linked in the description, so if you want to just copy and paste it. Hashtag that down in the comment section below. If you were in this, in this journey this entire time, so just do that. So yeah, what a way to wrap it up. I got Gogeta, I got Janimba, and I got them both awakened. I don't ever want to do that again. 
at least for now. I mean, once Vegito comes out, Super Vegito, we'll probably get him in a couple months. Uh, I might just go semi. I might do a couple summons, but I'm not. I'm never gonna go as hard as I did for Gogeta and Janimba in this game, just because. Like I said, these two cards are probably my favorites in the game, and now that I have them, I'm kind of like I'm content. I'm okay with it. So yeah. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like, comment below. Any questions, comments, feedback? If you want to share your summons, well, I've got something in my eye. Oh my gosh, a freaking eyelash or something. If you want to share your summons, just drop me a comment. But uh, other than that, I'm gonna get back to training and maxing them out, and enjoy my day. So I want you guys to do the same thing. Enjoy the rest of the day. And I'll see all you amazing people, super sandwiches, Dokkan players, in the comment section below. Peace.